what's going on everybody my name is Alex and today as you can see we are just about to get this uh, first ever war and heavy fire underway right now there's 40 seconds left on the clock before uh, it's battle day and we are just so excited right now uh, for this war uh, I'm not sure if there's any if there's gonna be anybody attacking but I hope there is uh, we're gonna see how this is gonna go right now 30 seconds left on the clock and uh, also guys I just want to say sorry uh, when uh, I, I was just trying to do my next quest to max town hall episode um, and the recording got messed up, so I wasn't able to do that, but as you can see, we are upgrading our expo to max level right now, um, that costs 8 million gold right there, and we also just did another, uh, another wall right here, uh, for, uh, for 3 million elixir, so I just want to let you guys know that's what happened, uh, and, uh, I will get another episode out very soon, uh, once I get more loot and stuff. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll get that underway, no worries. But here we go, battle day is now underway, and we are just checking out some of the opponents. Look at this, uh, one of our guys, Mini Milkman, has already attacked. We're going to go ahead and check out his attack right now on a Town Hall 7. As you can see, he's sending in a couple hogs right now to take out that air defense. He's going with an all-drag attack, triggers that giant bomb, and uh, he's also trying to get that air sweeper, but he doesn't get that. And he's sending all of his dragons here at the bottom. Very good uh, way to start this off. Because uh, rather than going from the top where he destroyed that air defense, he's going to get the air defense uh, taken out right away. Although he should have lured the CC troops, um, most definitely should have gotten those first out of the way. He's going to deploy a nice rage spell on all these CC troops right now. He's going to take them out like nothing. He's going to burn them to crisp with those dragons. And they're, the dragons are going to make their way onto this air defense. Looking good so far. And that air defense gets taken out. Now it's just a matter of getting through the Teslas, the Wither Towers, and the Archer Towers. Uh, to make this uh, three star so here we go right now his dragons are just making away right now he still has his barbarian king as well as a heal and a rage spell everything is looking good right now he's about to pick up that two star as you can see and the only threats left that he has are uh, the wizard tower and the archer tower and uh, things are just looking good right now he's doing good I'm gonna say he's doing good All right here in the chat hang on doing good Looking good, looking good, yep, definitely looking good. Alright, so this is going to be our first three star ever in uh, Heavy Fire. Congratulations to Mini Milkman, you teared this base up, and uh, there we go. That was an overkill raid. Nice 100% right there to start off our first war. Very good attack, uh, Mini Milkman. So here we go, we're already three stars on the board, and I'm going to see if anybody else is attacking. Uh, oh, hang on, let me just see... Okay, anyone else attacking, and I'm just going to request troops uh, for Lava Lunion. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple more attacks in right now. I'm going to check out their first, uh, their number one base right now, actually, just to see how uh, we can do here. Alright, so uh, I'm obviously going to be waiting to do my attack toward the end of the war because I want the lower guys to get their hits in first. But uh, it looks like uh, we, this could be three starable. Uh, he does have one Inferno Tower right here that is uh, single targeted. But that shouldn't be a problem, and his air defenses are pretty low level uh, for a Town Hall 10. Hang on, he's just wondering if I'm cooking him a Lava lava Hound, and uh, yes I am. Alright, so what I'm thinking when I'm going to be attacking this base is, I'm thinking about starting from up here on this top uh, this top sector, and I'm going to break through this compartment right here, and uh, hopefully, well I'm going to be using either Go Ho Wee or Go La Loon, but I'm kind of leaning toward Go La Loon, because if I can get these two air defenses taken out, then this whole this whole half side will be like all available for me to take out. And then I would deploy my other golem right over here, uh, smack dab on this T wall, as you can see. And uh, we could break down uh, through these two compartments and then send in my loons to uh, kind of uh, take out his archer towers and then eventually take out those other two air defenses. Um, but yeah, that's just like what I'm thinking about so far in that first base. We're going to head back to the um, menu and see if anybody else is attacking. Uh, it looks like nobody is it right now. Uh, just seeing what we can do here. Uh, let me see. I want to check out their number two base as well. His name is What a Noob. I wonder if he is a noob. Alright, so um, his, I mean, his base is definitely kind of premature for a Town Hall 10. Uh, his Archer Towers and his Air Defenses are uh, fairly low level for um, uh, his base and I'm thinking what we could do is we could go in from this right side um, maybe send in a couple loons on these archer towers over here so that way they're not a threat and uh, I'm thinking about deploying a golden like right over here where this torch is 
uh, so that way he works his way right into that air defense and then uh, we could possibly deploy two lines of hogs maybe we could do a go ho we on this base uh, deploy two lines of hogs on both sides of the golem so that way because once he works his way in I'll send in maybe a jump spell like right here maybe on this air defense so that way he gets into those two compartments and then at once he's taken out uh, once he's taken all the damage from those defenses I'll deploy two lines of hogs behind him followed up uh, well I'm obviously going to be deploying some wizards uh, first to funnel the um, the golem and the heroes in and then I'll deploy two lines of hogs once my heroes get to the wall and uh, it should be smooth sailing from here. I'll deploy a uh, heal spell right on the wizard tower and uh, right on this archer queen altar, I'm thinking. Or maybe the air defense right here uh, to do that. So uh, that should be good. And then once we get past this uh, whole section with the clan castle, uh, it should be smooth sailing from there. We should have this base. Uh, but we're going to see what happens, guys. Uh, I will do a war recap on these uh, attacks, of course. Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We're going to see how this war wraps up. And uh, I will bring you guys uh, the full recap tomorrow and our best attack. So uh, be sure to leave a, a like, comment, favorite, subscribe. Do all that jazz for me uh, if you enjoyed. And also follow me on Twitter. It's at AlexCOC if you guys are wondering, if you guys want to stay updated on all the latest um, things and how we're doing in war and uh, just the clan in general. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in another episode tomorrow. Peace out.